And for those who were asking if I speak with a Swahili. Good morning. We are in the hospital like always. <laughs> like always. I think this is the last moment huh? for me. Yeah, for you, yes. Yeah, so today I'm at the, we are at the hospital. Huh? <laughs> we are at the hospital for my, for my, uh, what is it called? It's six weeks uh, checkup. Yeah, I hope everything is fine. Right. So that maybe I can get to have more kids later. <laughs> you almost put down my wig. <laughs> so we are done with the visit and everything is fine. Sure. Yeah, so I think one of these days I'll make a video about my, my postpartum, <laughs> my one month postpartum. Oh, Daddy, oh, oh, <laughs> Daddy likes to enjoy me. So I'll make a video about my one month postpartum because most of you seem so like uh, you want to know about uh, after C-section, how it is like. So I'll share with you some things. And one day video eh? with eyelashes. <laughs> no, the, the, the eyebrows. How? Why? You want to go to make the eyebrows. Ah, yes. I want to make the eyebrows, the, the powder ones. The ones last long. Eh? Yes. Yeah, I will take you there and then you there. Ah, yes. Do you leave me? I leave you in the shop. Ah. In the shop. Yes, but we are going to check if uh, there is one. So, so since Dad is here today, and uh, because he's been busy so much these days, and we want to tell you guys, it's our one year anniversary of YouTube. Eh? Yes, of YouTube. <laughs> of marriage, you no. Know? Yes, so we want to thank you for, for, to everyone. To everyone for subscribing, for watching our videos. We love you so much. Thank you for support. <laughs> so if you have guys any kind of question, you can ask us. And if we we'll have a time, we can make a video, question and answer video for you. Yeah. And Swahili is fine. Yes. Like Swahili, English, old. Italian. <laughs> We're international. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you so much guys Now we are going home For those who I know people will be asking where is Esme Esme is at school and now it's morning here. So Yeah, we are only with Terry who is at sleep Sleepy head. Yeah, he's very good boy guys like he sleep all the time We are going to pick Esme up. Oh my god Something has stopped We are going to take Sister Esme to Amica. Antonio non è amica, amico. Amico. Bravo, perché è maschio. E boy, amico. E girl, amica. Good morning, darlings. <laughs> so today is Verale is helping mommy to make uh, green beans. It's Saturday today. Happy weekend, guys. Yes, a knife is dangerous. Why? Cut. Brava. See, amore. Yes, do you like beans? Chef Esmeralda, <laughs> she's so busy. It's her favorite thing to do. Like uh, when I make uh, beans, she always wants to be there. No, no, you can't eat. You can't eat. You know, for eat, we have to cook it first, then we eat. Okay? Since Esmeralda started school, nowadays she speaks less English and she speaks more Italian than before. Like her Italian improved so much because before she used to speak half to half, half Italian, half English. But nowadays she speaks so much. Oh my god. So I'll show you how I'll make these beans, guys. As always. I just love to share some recipe. <laughs> she's 
She's asking if she can eat the beans. No, you can't eat. You can't eat. Because it's gelato. Because of what? It's gelato. <laughs> no, you can't. So nowadays I stop to speak with her Italian. Nowadays only English because. Uh, or else later, I think she'll forget English. I don't know. But I think it's better. And for those who were asking if I speak with her Swahili, I mean, the truth is that I don't speak with her Swahili because most of the time me and my husband, we speak English. So the only way to communicate is to speak English and Swahili, the Italian. Yeah. So for me, it's more easy to speak uh, English and Italian because I want to improve my Italian. So now I speak uh, much better Italian, then I, w I don't need so much to speak with the Italian like before. So I'm teaching her to speak English so that can be easy for her later in the future. But uh, Swahili is so important to my family when she goes back to Tanzania. So I just teach her some words like uh, we normally hear like something happen, like if she hurts herself, I normally tell her pole in Swahili. I don't used to tell her like sorry or scusa or mi dispiace. No, I normally say to her sorry. Sorry is in Swahili. So, so most of the time she knows that word. So even her, she gets used to that word like all the time when, uh, example, if I hurt myself, she would tell me pole mama, pole. Yeah. So yes, oh mambo, she knows that. Just little, and I think later, if, when she grow, maybe I can teach her. So I know there are a lot of mom out there who lives in Europe. So I want to ask you guys, how many languages do you speak with your kid? Do you speak English, the the language that you speak in your country? Like if you live in Finland, if you live in uh, in it's Italy, or if you live in uh, Sweden, Germany, how many languages do you speak with your kids? Because for me to speak both three language, it's so difficult. Like it doesn't come naturally. So normally, I think you can speak at least one language more and the other one less. So what I do with Esme is that I speak more English and yeah, and Italian. But yeah, so now I just decided to stop to speak with her Italian so that she can concentrate in English since. Now she goes to school, so she will speak uh, most of the time there. Like, they are 100%, they speak only Italian. So, so yes, I just want to, to ask you guys and tell me what you guys, what do you guys think? So I'm waiting for your answer, guys. And if you have any kind of advice, just tell me. Yeah. So I'll see you guys when I'll be making the green beans. Beans mixed with this uh, meat. What is this? Garlic. You like garlic? So I forgot to show you the first step, guys. Mm. I I put uh, onion first, yeah. and then after the onion, you just put it there. Oh, first, beans. you just fry them like this. Yeah. 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 So now I'm going to put uh, garlic. One piece of garlic, crushed. Yeah. And I'm going to put black pepper. So I'm just gonna let this cook a little bit, then later I'm going to see what they Two minutes, this is how it looks like. And now I'm going to add my tomato. I'm going to put my tomato in. A little bit of water inside this, and now I'm going to add my tomato paste inside. Okay. I'm going to put the meat inside, and now I'm going to mix everything. Okay, now I'm going to make pasta, and I'm going to add a little bit of water. Okay. So I put a little bit more water inside. Yeah. And then I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes and then our meat will be ready. So 
I put a few leaves of salvia. I mean, a few leaves of sage. This is sage. Sage is gonna give more flavor to the meats. I mean, to the beans. If you start to use sage to your beef, you'll see the different guys. Even when you fry chips, sometimes you can use sage. And it gives more flavor. Meats are ready after 10 minutes. So now I can prepare for Esmeralda because she's hungry. She was driving me crazy for 10 minutes. So I'm going to prepare for This her. is what Esme eat for lunch. Pasta with Parmesan cheese and uh, beans with meat. So Esme is enjoying her lunch. <laughs> how, is the, how is the meat and beans? Esme, you like it? No. Eh? No. Do you like the meat? Esme, do you like the meat? Manda confuqueta. Sim, manda confuqueta, brava. Mama, manda com mani. No. I don't eat with the hands, I eat with the fork. <laughs> 